Hey everyone, it's been a while since I made a video, as you can tell, and my last update I actually said I was going to be making weekly videos. Yeah, that didn't happen, obviously. I do not know why, but my motivation to make any sort of video on YouTube is just absolutely non-existent. I haven't even gone out and watched many YouTube videos, as I'm sure you guys have noticed, and I apologize for not watching a lot of your videos, but I do try and check in from time to time. And this is gonna be my first update for a while. I can't promise videos are gonna be more regular, but I'm putting in a lot of work getting ready for the strongman competition. Now, for those of you who have seen my diet update and my plan, the original plan was to go into the strongman competition as a lightweight. So that was gonna be 231 pounds, and then I was either gonna do open or do amateur for the last time. Well, I got down to 251 in April, and they posted the weights. I'm just going to go through these weights of uh, lightweight amateurs so you guys can see what they were talking about. Uh, lightweight novice, car deadlift, 350 pounds. Doesn't sound very strong, man, to me. Yoke with 440, and then a farmer's with 175 per hand, just for 60 feet. A keg toss to 10 feet, 6 kegs, a custom press of 160 pounds, and then Atlas Stones 150, 170, 200, 220, 240. That's not strong, man. And I can do every single one of those things for reps to the point that would have been a cardio event for me. And I started looking at the novice heavyweight and see what that would be. And the car deadlift goes up to around 450. The yoke goes up to 640, and the farmers are 225 per hand. And the keg toss, same weights on the kegs, but it goes up to 12 feet. The custom press goes to 200, and the stones, this, this one was funny to me, the stones go to 240, 280, 300, 320, 340. And I made a decision in April that I could not in good conscience go and do lightweight. So I've decided to up my weight and go in the competition. I'm going to do amateur heavyweight because I do want a challenge. I don't want to go in there and just smoke a bunch of weights and do a lot of reps. I want something that's actually going to be hard. And every single one of those events is going to be hard for me. So obviously I'm not down to 231 and I've put on a little bit of weight trying to gain some of that strength back that I lost because I did go down quite a bit. I was struggling to even deadlift five plates after going down 30 pounds. And uh, my plan is to go into competition around 265. So right now I'm, I'm 262, so good progress on that. And we are five weeks out from the competition. So don't have a lot of time left. But I want to go into a couple of things that we're getting ready to prep for the competition. So first, the pole barn's a mess. As you can see, uh, we've got power tools out, sawdust, stuff is laying everywhere. Uh, we've had all sorts of adventures. So as I mentioned, Atlas Stones is going to be one of the events. So I, did, I only have the three stones, and Tony made me two little ones, which I've been looking for for a while in case people want to come out here and just try stones. So we got a 111 and a 131 uh, or 139, something like that. And I had the 200, 220, and 240, which normally is the first three stones for any sort of five stone atlas when you are dealing with novice. Now we're starting at the 240. So I went out, I got a 260, a 280, a 313, and I got a 335 out in the back. The bad news, is I cannot pick this thing up to my lap and definitely not get it up. Um, we've got the trusty squat stand here with the stone rack we built and we're going to be loading it to 54 inches. So what we're practicing with is 55 and a half. So we're just a little bit higher in the competition. Obviously you want to train a little bit harder than it's going to be so when you finally get to the competition it's pretty easy. Next, we're doing the car deadlift. So I got this bright idea that I could use these two bars, old bars, and uh, wedge them against the pole bar and take them down and have this bar in front of it. I'll just go ahead and show you guys this. And I'll put some footage so you guys can actually see us lifting it. But we put some placeholder in place and this 2x4 
goes on the back, and you can see we've got the holes drilled here. So that, can you see that from there? Mm -hmm. uh, we've got holes drilled in there to hold it steady on the back. But the plan was to put the tire on here. The tire is actually too small to fit. Well, what's cool about this is when you are deadlifting, it forces you to, instead of lifting straight up, you have to come back. Whoa! And that's why we put the plates on right there. Mm -hmm. the setting. But you get that pendulum feel. Now, obviously, with the car deadlift, it's going to have a little bit longer of a lever arm. So it's not going to be quite that same lift. But it at least gives us something to practice with. Oh. Ah. One. Boston Tacky. And uh, I hate being sticky. I, I'm not a fan of sticky. But that works really well. And this. I'm really excited that I finally got one of these. This is a pony keg. So we're going to be doing a keg toss. And I found a place that would actually sell it to me. I've been looking for one of these for about two years. Asking everybody on Facebook to throw a party and let me buy this for the deposit. But when I called the guy, he said he had four. When I got there, he had one. So at least he got one for now, right? So a couple of things that I've been having a big problem with prepping for this is my shins. So I've got real bad medial shin splints. That is right in this area. Hurts to the touch. It swells right up. So the first thing I did is I bought some reband compression sleeves for calves. So this just goes right on there and uh, you'll see that if I ever post any lifting videos, I'll be wearing these anytime we're doing moving. It does not bother me at all with static events. So overhead benching, deadlifting, squatting, no problems. I'm also getting um, some swelling and, and reoccurring issues with my ankle injuries. So I've been wearing these ankle braces and I tore all the ligaments in my right ankle. So I put this one on top of that and I wear the left one just so that I'm walking in the same position. I don't like walking with one leg slightly up due to the padding of the ankle brace. But you'll see that none of that helps me lift very much. So let's go into the trusty bag here. Let's talk about some other stuff. Uh, these are the strong knee sleeves. Uh, my mom got me, my mom and dad got these for me for Christmas and I love these. I tried walking in this with the yoke and <laughs> uh, it made the pick really easy, but it was really hard to walk. So I don't think I'm gonna wear these in the competition. So those are out. I am trying this week to use uh, my APT elbow sleeves. Um, bought these last year to try and do a lot more weight than we could. Have not been training with these at all to this point. So this is something that we've got to get used to. And then of course we've got our wrist straps. So that's some of the stuff that I'm dealing with on the injury front. Now let's go out to the front. The last two things that we have are the walking event, which is gonna be a yoke farmer's medley, 60 feet. You're gonna go 640 pounds on the yoke and then come back with 225 per hand on the farmers. And then it's gonna be a safe press, which is going to be very similar to a yoke overhead press. Now, one of the things I wanted to show you guys, my homemade yoke is very wobbly. It's very unstable. It's a lot more difficult to handle than a yoke in a competition. If you look here on the part where they come together, I can almost fit my whole fingertip in between those. So that's a lot of room for that to wiggle. This thing works great, and uh, my father-in-law helped me put this together. It works awesome, but it is very hard to handle. It's much more like a chain yoke than it is your traditional yoke. Uh, but the overhead press, I'll, I'll link a video down below. You can see where Tony came out and did some lifting with us. When you're trying to overhead press this thing, it just wants to take you for a ride. Same thing with the yoke, but that's going to be a challenge in the strongman competition. But I'm hoping the yoke is going to be easier because if their yoke is as hard to move as my yoke, I'm getting 640, maybe three steps, and that's it. But these are my farmer's handles. I'm going to show you an awesome clip here in a second. But 
we originally wanted to put this metal out here. Due to miscommunication, these got put on way too close, and obviously you wouldn't be able to walk with the plates there. So we had the idea to put a clip to hold the weight and vice grips to hold the plate on the outside. These kept sliding everywhere and the weight would come off or it would slam into your leg. And we've got a lot of videos of Glenn especially getting smashed with those. So I got the bright idea to use these uh, rubber plumbing tools and just they go on there, they stay really good. Problem is when you're going from winter to summer, they like to uh, expand, contract, and it loosens the screws and they move around. I just did the farmer's walk with Tony and Glenn and apparently this one slid from here where if I'm holding this up, I can take a good step and you can see the plate's gonna be way up here, I'm never gonna touch it. The rubber actually came down to here. It was two inches away from this inside and I full speed kicked the plate right on the shin uh, knocked me over, took me out, but they work really well as long as you have them in the right spot. Ouch! The heck? I kicked it. And that's what we've been training with. I want to show you our walkway, however, because this has proved to be a bigger challenge than I thought. So the first thing we tried doing is setting up over here. And we were walking in a straight shot down that way. Now, I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but the entire driveway leans to the right. And then as you come over here, there's quite a big dip here where the seams come together in the driveway. And then we've got this nice, huge crack from the tree over there. The roots growing through and pushed it up. So that has provided a lot of challenge. And as we got heavier, it became too dangerous to try and step over this and step down and then suddenly have one leg go in. When you're walking with a lot of weight, 600 pounds, that's just too dangerous. So then, and we thought maybe that's contributing to the shin splints, we decided to walk from this tire down to the end of the road. And the problem that we ran into here, there's only one crack, which isn't as bad, but as you get to this section of the driveway, it kind of comes up and then it leans this way. So if you, again, if I post any of those videos, you'll see as we're coming here, all of a sudden the yoke would take us this way and there was nothing you could do to stop that. Go! Good, 20 seconds. Again, putting a lot of stress on those ankles, shins, knees wasn't a great idea. So then we decided the last thing we can try is to go straight up and down the driveway. Now there's no sideways lean here, but it does start going up here and there's a big crack. However, 60 feet is right here. So we can end at the crack but we do have a declining angle that declines to about here. So from here to the end of the driveway is a straight shot and it works really well. But when you get from here to there, it starts becoming uphill and you get a little bit of yoke trying to push you this way. 
or if you're coming downhill, you start picking up a lot of speed. So uh, you'll see some of the heavier runs, if one of us gets enough speed, we'll come to about here and suddenly we won't be leaning down and the yoke will hit the back or you'll just set it down because your body's got that momentum and that forward lean and you're trying to correct yourself. So hopefully when we get to the competition, that won't be an issue. But that's it for this video. I will try and post some lifting footage if I get around to it, but I make no promises. However, I do promise that I will put the competition video on there. We're five weeks out. Take it easy. As always, go lift something heavy.